let us talk about classification groups the taxon is a category into which related organisms are placed there is a hierarchy of groups from broadcast to most specific domain is kingdom phylum class order family genus and species here you can see the species is homo sapiens genus is homo family hominids order is primates and class is mammals phylum chordates and kingdom is animals these are all the classification now we are going to see about classification of humans here the species for sapiens genus is homo family is hominids order is primates class is mammals the phylum is chordates the kingdom is animal these are classification of humans here you can see the classification category and characteristics in category domain eukarya for cell with nuclei the kingdom animalia for multicellular phylum chordata for dorsal supporting rod and nerve cord class mammalia is hair and mammary glands and the order primates the characteristics is adapted to climb trees the family hominidae is adapted to walk erect and genus homo is large brain tool use species homo sapiens is a body proportion of modern humans now we are going to see about domains domain is broadest and it is most inclusive taxon it has three domains the first one is archaea bacteria and eukarya archaea and bacteria is a unicellular prokaryotes and the eukarya is it has a nucleus and membrane bound organelle but it is a more complex one you can see it over here archaea archaea it constitute a domain or kingdom of single celled microorganisms you can see the archaea over here it is a microbes or prokaryotes the meaning that they have no cell nucleus or any other membrane bound organelles in their cells in archaea the kingdom is archaebacteria it is probably the first cell to evolve it is live in host environment you can see it over here let us discuss about bacteria in bacteria the kingdom is eubacteria this is a bacteria which is represented over here some bacteria causes disease it is found in all habitats except harsh ones they it is a important decomposers for environment the important commercially uses in making for cottage cheese yogurt and buttermilk you can see it over here in bacteria the prokaryotes is a no nucleus or membrane bound organelles prokaryotes are smaller than smallest eukaryotes in bacteria the prokaryotes all are have unicellular it is now considered in two kingdoms the one is archaebacteria the other one is eubacteria you can see eubacteria here archaebacteria and eukaryotes and all other things represented over here now let us talk about kingdom eubacteria eubacteria which is classified into two ways the first one is shape the other one is stain eubacteria are three different shapes and it is unicellular or colonies you can see the eubacteria here it contains capsule plasma membrane nucleus which is represented over here 
ribosomes and cell wall it contain outer membrane it is called u bacteria followed by u bacteria now we are going to see about spear shaped cockles cockles can be used to describe any bacterium that has a spherical ovoid or generally round shape here you can see diplococcus that contains two cockles and staphylococcus here the bacterium is in cluster formation the last one is streptococcus it is in the string shaped so it is called streptococcus strings let us talk about rod shaped bacillus rod shaped bacillus is a genus of gram positive rod shaped bacteria and a member of the phylum firmicutes the bacillus species can be obliquate aerobes or facultative aerobes you can see diplobacillus it has a two rod shaped bacterium now we are going to see about corkscrew spirulum the spirulum is a genus of gram negative bacteria within family spiralisia there are two species in spirulum with standing in nomenclature the first one is spirulum vinogradsky the another one is spirulum volitans you can see it over here